Hey, my name is AR Cure. We're going to do a quick video about basic flight controls. We are currently at Port Olisar. This is a nice, quick, easy place to uh, spawn a ship and uh, hop in and fly. First thing I do is come to this central terminal here and go to an ASAP terminal. Let's go ahead and pull out a Claudius. It's going to be at Bravo 07. The Glanius is a good one for this because every switch in this machine is physical. I can uh, hold F and look around and I can uh, go over these switches here and I can look at my quantum HUD, uh, turn on power, turn on engines, everything. Um, to start with though, every ship is going to have these in slightly different areas. We're going to go over sh uh, keyboard shortcuts. So you're going to hit R for Romeo. That'll make everything flight ready. Okay. Systems green. So here you're going to see my uh, shield start to come up. I don't have anything targeted right now. Your radar is here in the middle. We can see we have one friendly ship. That arrow indicates they are currently above us. And uh, off to the side here. So we look up and there they are. Uh, the shield's coming up here. Looking good. We have our shield strength here. We are now at 100% on all shield faces. Okay. We take off here, we're going to hit F11. That'll pull up our comms menu here. We can go to friends. And under port all side here, we're going to double click this diamond. And that will call for takeoff for us. You are clear to launch. That's more important when you're on a planet that has a hangar because that will be a necessary step for them to open the doors of the hangar to allow you to leave. Uh, basic uh, WASD controls, Q and E to roll, and space and control to strafe. We're going to strafe up. Uh, shift will get you an afterburner a little faster. Here, press N is in November. That'll put your landing gear up. Okay. The way I'm going to this external camera is by hitting F4. And if you hit F4, you can do an external camera, kind of look at your ship. And if you hold Z, you can go around and find different views of your ship. Pressing F4 again will get you back into the cockpit. And again, we're just going to push W to, uh, to go forward here. Now you'll notice this uh, speed limiter here on the side here. It's right at that red line. Um, that red line is what we call the SEM mark. So below the red line, you can have pretty good maneuverability. Um, so if you're going to be dogfighting and stuff, staying at or below that red line is preferable. Uh, you can, with your mouse scroll wheel, scroll up and go faster. And of course, with afterburner, get there faster. Um, the trouble with this is that um, I can still turn decently well, but my trajectory is really not moving that much. So this this uh, double uh, carrots here facing toward each other, that's my direction of motion. So that's where I'm heading toward. And if I turn around, look behind me here, we're going to see one on the other side. These arrows facing out, that's directly behind my direction of travel there. Alright, so if uh, we're going here fast for SEM and I go to move off center here, you see that my direction changes pretty slowly. So I'm turning to the right here, but we're still actually heading in this direction. Uh, you can press X. X is an X-ray. That is going to be space brake. That's going to fire your thrusters in whatever direction they need to go. You try to slow you down and stop you as fast as possible. The danger with that is that you can't overheat thrusters. If thrusters are completely overheated, they will shut down and stop working, which of course you lose maneuverability when that's happening. Um, you can also, we get going a little bit here, press V as in Victor. We are now in what's called decoupled mode. So my engine is not running at all. I'm at 0% thrust there. My speed is constant, 261. We're not burning any fuel. And we are currently heading in this direction. So I can rotate here, and we're basically like a, like a thrown rock here. So we're going that direction at that speed. We can turn around. So this is really good for uh, dock fighting because then I can now shoot in uh, different directions from I'm actually traveling, and that's that's very useful. Um, 
Hitting V again will turn decoupled mode off. If we hit C as in Charlie, you'll see a little carrot show up here on our speedometer, and that carrot indicates that we are now in cruise control mode. So our ship will work to maintain whatever velocity we have set um, with our mouse scroll wheel here. And you can see once we're at velocity, thrust goes to zero. We're not actually burning fuel at this point, we're just going straight ahead. So if we make any change, you'll see that thrust come up as it redirects us to the new direction. Uh, if you're in atmosphere, no guarantee you're actually going to hit this set speed. It's just going to work as hard as it can and try to maintain that speed for you. Okay, um, things that can go uh, wrong if you well if you hit right shift, that will lock out pitch yaw control. So now I can no longer turn my ship left, right, up, or down. This is really useful if you're trying to get into a tight hangar, especially with the F4 key. You can lock in your nose and then you can strafe up or down to get into a hangar. Um, it's a bad thing though if you hit it and don't realize it because all of a sudden you can't turn at all. The right shift will get you back so where you can turn again. Uh, Z, as in Zulu, is also a very common problem. If you hit Z, now I'm in free look mode and I can't turn my ship either. So hitting Z again will allow me to move the ship. So if you're in a situation where you can't move the ship and you're looking everywhere, that's a Zulu. Hit Z and that'll get you. So you can move the ship again. Um, hitting C again will disengage cruise control and we'll start coming back down to zero. You can see that my thrust was at 100% there while we were getting back down to zero velocity. All right, with that, let's talk about uh, quantum drive. Uh, hitting B as in Bravo will spool up your quantum drive, and that will show you everything in the nearby vicinity that you can jump to. So we're going to point to OM6 here. OM stands for Orbital Marker 6. That is um, Orbital Markers 1 is at the North Pole of whatever planet you're looking at, 2 is South Pole, and three through six are around the equator. So we're going to be jumping to in the an OM, an orbital marker around the equator of this gas giant. Um, once we are locked in, you see our spooling is complete and our calibration is complete. We are going to long press Bravo. Hold B down until you uh, engage the quantum drive. Quantum travel initiated. And we'll enter quantum drive and we'll drop out here about 25 kilometers from that OM. There we go. We are at the orbital marker. And I'm sorry, orbital markers you, you jump straight to. So we are actually at that orbital marker now. Um, all right, so that's how you can jump to things without setting a route. Let's talk briefly about setting a route. If you hit uh, F2, you're going to pull up your star map. You can see uh, we've got nothing here. If we double right click, that'll zoom us all the way out. We can now see all of Stanton. Left clicking, you can rotate things and tilt them up. Uh, right clicking allows you to drag the whole map and move it around. If you double left click on something, that'll focus you on that thing. So now we're looking at Crusader. We can see three moons here and Port Alistar where we just launched from. Um, if we double click on Selen here, um, that'll focus us on Selen. Then we use the mouse wheel to, to make fine adjustments to zooming in and out. So if we uh, now looking at Selen here, we can see uh, different different outposts on Selen or the comma array that we can click on to travel to. And you see anything that we've clicked on here showing up the top right gives us a distance there and what we're clicked on. We can now hit set route and that'll set our route to Selen. Looking up here on the top left it tells you what our current fuel is, what the required fuel is to make this jump. It's very small. We're just going inside the single uh, planetary area here. Um, and this number here uh, under this line tells you we're going to make one jump and uh, it's going to take us 16 and a half seconds to make that jump. So we're going to spool up here. If I decide to, I can hit right shift so I can't pull myself off and mess up my calibration here. And uh, let's go ahead and start a timer here and see if that 16.5 is accurate. And launch. So the quantum drive we have in this ship right now is stock. So it's a little bit slow to accelerate, a little bit slow to decelerate. And right there we're at 14, 15, 16 and a half. 
Okay. Uh, once you're at a planet or a moon, you can again hit Bravo to spool up, and we can look at each one of these things individually. Uh, if you're looking at a six-sided um, marker there, a hexagon, that's going to be one of these outposts. Uh, if it is a pentagon, it's got five sides to it, it looks like, looks like a home plate at baseball, it's going to be the main landing zone of that planet. Since we're at a moon here, there is no main landing zone of this planet. Uh, those little uh, diamonds there, those are your orbital markers. So we can see there's uh, three, there's five, there's six, and there's four. Going around the equator of this moon. Look up here, there's OM1 at the North Pole, and OM2 at the South Pole. Now, if we're going to uh, something on the other side of this planet, we can use orbital markers to get a, a clearer view to destinations on the other side of the moon here. So we spool up here, we can jump to OM2. Now if we spool up here, we can see anything with a dashed line around it is on the other side of the planet. Anything with a solid outline is line of sight to you. So this is directly, Tramon Meyer is directly line of sight of us. Uh, this one here, the aid shelter is on the other side of the moon. Now, typically you can lock on something on the other side of a planet and engage and it will whip you around to that. Uh, that doesn't always work. Sometimes it wants to put you through the planet and that's why it's important if you decide it's gonna put you into the planet instead of around it to have your finger on I. I is in India because that will engines immediately shut your engines down and keep you from crashing. Uh, that jump was actually gonna be just fine. We were gonna make that jump no problem, but it's a, it's a good thing to look at. All right, let's... Uh, talk a little bit about landing now. Um, you know, actually, let's go ahead and go back to Fort Olisar to practice landing. Go back to Crusader here. Fort Olisar, set route. Spool that up. Uh, you can see that this marker is a square. Square are going to be orbital stations. So square orbital stations, rounder planets, hexagons or outposts. Diamonds are orbital markers, and home base is the main landing zone of the planet. We can jump to Core also here. Get you a nice external view of that quantum drive as we swing past Crusader. And pop out at Port Alsar. All right, now once we're within, um, it varies from station to station, but typically around the 10 kilometer mark, uh, you'll get this message that you can call landing, uh, call air traffic control to land. Uh, so you can do this from your MFDs, from your uh, multifunction displays here, but I typically like to do that in uh, the comms menu. So if you hit F11, that'll pull up your comms menu. Go into the friends menu here. You can go to Port Olsar, double click that diamond, and it will all the landing service. Spawning landing service is also important if you spawn a ship inside the hangar because you need to do that before they can open the doors for you. Here we're going to hit November to put our landing gear down. We can use that mouse scroll wheel to reduce our, our max speed so we can come in a little bit, a little bit slower here so we don't go crash into things. Now even at, you know, 23 meters a second here, we're still going about 50 miles an hour, so it's quick. Okay. Once you're inside this holographic box for the pads, you can long press N to auto land, or you can just strafe down with control slowly to uh, set down. We'll go ahead and do auto land just so you can see what that looks like. You'll see it automatically rotate the ship here, get us nice and lined up, and it'll lower us down. Landing complete. Uh, once down, I would hit eyes in India, that'll turn your engines off. Engines off Especially on planets, helps you from keeps you from bouncing around. If you hit F1, it's gonna open up your menu and go to this little wrench icon down here. 
and then it'll let you uh, repair. Apparently we scratched it a little bit and refuel your, your ship. Confirm. And uh, long press Y is your universal get me out of this chair button. So we'll long press Y. And that'll get us stepped out of the ship here. And there are basic flight controls tutorial. Thanks for watching.